stay a few more days at least. It won't change my mind, Chris. It might. It won't. Come on, you owe it to the hospital. Excuse me? It was a long shot. Yeah, cheap long shot. You're doing well there, mate. The hospital won't cope without you. I have every faith in your abilities. Oh, help me out here. I would love to, mate, but I'm starting to feel the same way. Same what? Like this place has sucked all the joy out of life. What the hell is going on here? I've had a wake-up call. Yeah, yeah, I was provoked. But when you shove an old guy around, then you've got to take a step back. He'll get over it. You've taken time out yourself. Oh, yeah. Look, I'll but... stay and see Godfrey's catchment area plans reversed, and then we'll see. Just don't make any decisions yet. I haven't finished with you either. So go on. Buy me a yacht. Well, I don't need a flash car anymore. You still feeling sick? Oh, I just need out of here. I suppose I could stretch to a 12-footer and a few horsepower. No. Now, Mrs. Celia, have you booked her chest X-ray? Done. And the CT report on Mears? It's come back clear, but I was thinking we should still admit for observation. Yeah, I agree. Oh, and there's um, an abdo pain in four that needs assist. Already assessed. Full blood screen. Done. You're using your initiative. And all this time you didn't think I had any? No, I didn't. And you thought there was nothing behind this. And these. Oh! Oh, God, put it away! <laughs> oh, there's more. I've sorted the sort of miners that I reckon we can fast track and discharge before the next drunk in the sorely or whatever, so if you have time. You're after a gold star, aren't you? Only if I can see where I want it. No, Lawrence's departure was most gentlemanly. He left a very tidy desk. Fine, but I'm assuming I won't be holding the fort for long, not when there's... Okay, Zara, you hold those cards close to your chest. I'll see you in non. Oh! Why don't you take a load off? In fact, why don't you have this one? You must know there's every chance Zara's going to offer you the job. Oh, she can offer it away. But if I had been their first pick, I would have knuckled down and given it my best. But that was then. So you should have got the job, but you didn't. Now it's yours for the taking. It'd just be cutting off your nose to spite your face to turn it down, wouldn't it? Love it when you turn on the charm. But the truth is, I don't care enough anymore. You and Craig have got yourself into this blue funk. Come on, when the dust settles, you'll be raring to go. Craig, probably, yeah. But, I don't know. There's been too many low points for me. Losing Judy. The snake in the grass that was Hamish. The uh, catchment area disaster. Give me a high, go on. I have always put my career first, probably because I thought it was a safer bet. But, I mean, look at Lawrence. Press one wrong button and it's all over. Oh, as if you'd ever make that sort of deeply embarrassing blunder. Let your personal life come crashing into the workplace like that. It pretty much did with Stephen Law, didn't it? And the thing about my personal life, it's always been in this much smaller box. But now there's Craig and there's no way I can keep him in a little box. Man, well, likes a bit of elbow room, does our Craig. Mm-hmm. And I'd like to give it to him. So, you're perfectly happy playing the good little woman? Well, it's pretty tempting at the moment. These last few days have made me see that you know, what I've got with Craig is way up. I'm packing my butt in that chair. No, I still think we would have got a better deal going through the courts. Mum, you lost. I was only ever thinking of you, son. Liar! You wanted my girl in your arms and all the aunties around Green Ants. No, I was just... Yes, to give me my youth back, I know. Listen to your auntie, bro. Hold on to your youth. Don't go messing with any checks or getting yourself into any kind of trouble. Well, I might have to find myself a check first. Okay. Right. Give me some tips, eh? Oh, I think I'll leave you to it. Hey, Mum, if I ever call again, tell me to sort it myself. I get the message, son. Thank you, Richie. Sure. Okay. Jan, Fetu and Bubs are just living around the corner, so you didn't really lose. I know. Except you might have to be a little bit nicer to Shan. <laughs> okay, darling, I love you. I love you too. You look awful. No, I'm fine. You look all pale and greenish. Such medical detail. No wonder you made nurse manager. So what's up? Probably Chris is cooking. Okay, one, he's a clean freak like you wouldn't believe. And two, neither of us are sick. Oh, whatever it is, it'll pass. Or it'll kill you. Thanks for that. <laughs> Seriously. After what you've been through here, I'm surprised you're still standing. Mm. Hey, slacker. The sooner you get your girlfriend out of here, the better. You still feeling crook? 
No, I told you. Once I'm out of this place, I will be magically cured. It's been two days now. Quick, get me into recess. I am going to take some blood stuff. No, you won't. Don't be ridiculous. I am, and I'm not. I will be fine. Next time I see you, we'll be up for a full exam. Well, I might just stay picky then. <laughs> Then on Monday, out by Friday, that's got to be the shh. <clears throat> Hi. How's it going? Without Lawrence? It's going great. I've got time to catch up with what's happening in Tinseltown. I'm loving it. Um, yeah, but the venue's all wrong because you need a big deep bath and a big fat vino and a stack of woman's views because it's the second best stress buster there is. All my surgery for the next few days has been postponed. So I'm not stressed. I'm bored out of my brain. And she has got to be suffering. You really think she had a thing about him? I don't think so, I don't know. But she did idolise him. She worshipped at his feet and now that he's being shamed, she's got to be feeling pretty embarrassed. She'll bounce back. <laughs> yeah, like I bounced back from the deep humiliation of being the girlfriend of a fraudster. That is not the same thing at all. How were you to know that Hamish was Richard? I was yet another woman to be sucked in by that man, just like Lee May was sucked in by Lawrence. She thought he was a demigod and he just turned out to be another rat. Go on. Have a really good wallow. <laughs> I am not wallowing. I am feeling for a fellow victim of the lousy male species. Don't start. I've never known you to turn down a coffee before. I've never known you to go on so much. I'm worried about you. Now you know how it feels. I'm not sick. No, but you have been under a lot of stress at work. Proven by you roughing up Lawrence. Yeah, okay, maybe we both need a breather. Like you said, life is for now. <laughs> what? Oh, I didn't think you were supposed to start talking like that till you were in your 50s. It feels so old. Maybe we're just smarter than the average. We have company. that about? I had a guess the bombshell you just dropped about leaving. Smug twat. Whatever he thinks he's scheming, it ain't gonna work. And they will be scheming. Well, they'd do better putting their efforts into finding a decent replacement for me. There's no way I'm gonna put up with a non like Lawrence running this place. Honey, if you walk away from your precious ED, then I'm afraid you don't get a say in what happens to it. 